Daves. What's up, Daves? Yeah. Where have y'all been? Yeah. <laughs> so, Rob's back. What have you been up to? Uh, me? Yeah. Oh, absolutely nothing. You didn't, uh, <laughs> you didn't leave town for a minute? No, no. I went on vacation for a week and a half. Took, took the wife on our annual anniversary trip. Yeah, you guys were grinding there for a minute. You had uh, all the rehearsals for the Age well, of yeah. Chivalry. Yeah, we had the, yeah, the Renaissance. My ass. Renaissance Fair. Ren- the Renaissance of, is easier to Age say. Age of Chivalry Renaissance Fair. Yeah. So. And then, um, yeah, you were working, traveling before that. You had, yeah. And then you had some hockey games and stuff. You had a lot going on. Yeah. That's hockey game tomorrow. And actually, so uh, on the way down to uh, Jamaica, where we went on vacation, uh-huh. uh, stopped in Miami for a day and worked down there. Oh, nice. And then... On the way back, I stopped in Dallas and worked for a day, so it was kind of... That's you know. that's awesome. Yeah. And, you know, like, the whole vacation's a write-off, right? Right. Well, most of it. <laughs> I mean, half the airfare. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> because I'm actually on business. Hell yeah. So, yeah. That's, so. that's the way to plan shit. But uh, I, I understand uh, you had you had some concerns about my performance. No concerns. I, I, I was... Um, <laughs> uh, I saw a video on the, the troop... Or the the whatever group uh, you guys do, and yeah. it, it, I think it had your daughter's username on. There was Tyree in there, yeah, probably. Group. Yeah, and uh, the, I, I kind of skipped through some parts, and then I got uh-huh. to the end, to the to the big finale. Oh yeah, the finish. And, and I'm like, who, who's this like Rip Taylor? Are you were you are, were you wearing a fake mustache in the thing? No, no, ask I, that for, okay. no, I wasn't wearing a mustache. I, okay, I had uh, I, I I shaved. I, I was all clean, okay, clean shaven. Yeah, because the video, it's kind of hard to tell, but. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say you were in drag. You were you were uh, someone playing a character who looked male. Yeah. Well, I mean, for the most part. But okay. So the age of Aquarius was yes, the was yeah. the song you guys were performing, uh, and, and, and it's the version from Forty uh, Year Old Virgin. The, okay. The ver- which is it never seen that. Isn't that age weird. Of, oh god, that's a great movie. Yeah. It goes from Age of Aquarius to uh, oh shit, uh, Let the Sunshine. Right. It, it's right, like right, a medley. Right. It's a medley. Yeah. But um, isn't so, that also from a play? Uh, maybe What's I, don't the, know. I can't remember the play. Um, oh shit! It's one of those old seventies plays where everybody gets naked. Um, oh god! Oh fuck! I can't remember the name of it now. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Hair, um, hair. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hair. Yeah. It might be. Yeah. No, it is. That, that, oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Because because yeah. forty year old virgin was actually riffing off of hair. When thank they did you. It. Okay. Yeah. 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 So um, anyway, um, so the the show that we do it we we do a, a Roman gladiator show. That's kind of the the premise of our show. It's the have, gist of the Renaissance Fair. Yeah, well, I mean, like we're, we're a little school. bit out of period. I mean, a Renaissance well, a Fair. There's a lot of people that are. Yeah, it, it, but yeah. yeah, I mean, you have pirates. See people dressed as Celtic shit. Yeah, like, yeah. You, have, you, have, you have pirates, which are like 300 years too late. And you have, it's cosplay. You know, yeah, basically. I yeah. mean, and it's not a, it, it's actually a, that there's a difference in terminology between a fair and a festival. One, one is very, uh, uh, a, a Renaissance Fair is very specific to a time period and you have okay. to be you know, more in, in kind of that 500 year Renaissance era <laughs> costume and stuff like that. Or uh-huh. a, rena- a festival. Yeah. It's a little looser. I mean, okay. you know, uh, like, so if I showed see, up with like juggalo makeup, Oh yeah, you'd be fine. The- yeah, you'd be fine. <laughs> um, th- there's a, there's a phenomenon at, at the, at least at, at this Renaissance festival and a few others that I've been to, um, we, we call them the uh, Scottish Ninja Fairy Pirates okay. because they don't have like one complete costume. Right. They have like a piece of like they they have some fairy wings and, and a, a beret. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know, and, and a pirate patch or right. some shit like that. And if you're a girl, you have to have like your your faux animal tail You're and, oh, and shit, shit like that. Oh god, yeah. So that's good stuff. That's awesome. But uh, so our our show uh, was a Roman Gladiator show, and we decided to do kind of a comedy show this year. So yeah. the the acting parts were all uh, portraying um, Greek slash Roman gods. Okay, and we kind of we kind of rip on the Romans a little bit for stealing all the Greek gods and stuff. It was right. it was pretty good. Right. Um, so uh, I was uh, asked to play Apollo. Okay. Now Apollo, you know, god of the god of the sunrise and a bunch of other stuff. But um, he's got a lot of jobs. He does. He's like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, Apollo was, was also um, a, a renowned man whore. I mean, and he didn't care. He's like, you know, guys, girls, whatever. Sure. So the director of our show uh, came to me and he's like, look, uh, there's only there's not a lot of people I can ask to do this, but I know I know I can trust you to to take it in the right way. Right. He's like, I want you to play Apollo, but I want you to play Apollo uh, with Elton John as your inspiration. There you go. Yeah. And That's I'm like, what I was seeing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do this. Nice. But as a, as a performer, as an actor, 
uh, when you take on a role like that, um, if you half-ass it at all, it's just going to suck. You're just going to look stupid. Everybody's going to see right through it. Yeah, yeah that you're not committed. So you got to go. Yeah, go big or stay home. You, right. You got to. You have to commit fully to it. And so the troop like, pulls out a sheet mm-hmm. over the entire yeah, so, performance area. You so yeah, can, there, there's you like can this, tell there's some purple, shit going on. Yeah, there's yeah. like this purple uh, billowing <laughs> kind yeah. of. Uh, it's billowing because there's bodies yeah, sliding there, underneath yeah. it. Yeah. Well, because you know, the, so it was the Trials of Hercules was our show, and right. Her- Hercules dies, and and so. Uh, that it's like supposed to be like the the, the river sticks coming out and enveloping ah, all the dead bodies. And gotcha, stuff. gotcha. But we use that from a stage perspective to swap out some bodies. Right. So he comes in, I go out. I've got a couple of dancers with me and stuff like that. They pull the sheet, and I'm laying right where he was, except I am in a uh, gold gold lame gold uh, like gold sequin uh, right. jump, jumper, <laughs> um, some high heel fish, pumps, fishnets, yeah, uh, and uh, some some high heel kind of Elton Johnny shoes, and right. and the wig and the whole bit. Um, so it was it was pretty yeah, glasses, yeah, yeah, it yeah was I had the, the pink glasses, yeah. Pink so I was I was watching it, and then I was like, kind of recognize. Shit, that's wrong. Yeah, because yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. I had skipped forward, and I was like, I hope I didn't miss Rob. And then I was like, there he is. So, <laughs> you know, and you know, and when when you do, so, I mean, you just have to have fun with it. And it looked fun. And, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we were having yeah. a great time. It looked like it. Uh, you know, uh, ch- chalk off or chalk up another thing um, that I never thought my wife would tell me when we got married. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm trying on this costume for the first time, and I've got it all on and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And she's like, "Damn, babe, your legs are great in fishnets." <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what fishnets are for? Yeah, no, they, they make everybody's legs look great. Sure. That's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I got up, danced, uh, did some stuff. It was, nice. It was a good time. It was yeah. Fun. And then and then you left the country. Yeah, and then <laughs> I, was, I was home for like a day and a half, and uh, then we went on vacation. Well, went, went to work, and then went on, went on vacation, then came back to work, and yeah. Nice. So yeah, it's been uh, in an eventful couple of weeks. Yeah, we've been we've been busy, but fun. So. What are we uh, What are we drinking? Brown, All right, yeah, brown, liquid brown, brown, brown liquor or brown liquid. Uh, so we are drinking Dalmore eighteen. Uh, it is a Scotch whiskey. Uh, Sixteen is legal in Nevada, but uh, you know, you but we're be, drinking eighteen. Be safe. Yeah, we want to yeah. be safe. So this particular uh, this particular whiskey is aged for fourteen years in American oak. New, uh, I think it's actually bourbon bourbon cask oak. Nice. So it's been uh, it's been used to age bourbon. And then they take it and they age it four years in a sherry wine cask. So huh. it's got a kind of a sweet note to it. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of... Uh, yeah, you, you can know. smell the cherry. Oh, yeah. Neat. Uh, yep, it's nice. It's one of my faves. I like this one a lot. What's the difference between whiskey with an E and whiskey with just a Y? Uh, the, Scots go, the Scots spell it without an E. Everybody else pretty much spells it with an E. Okay. That's, that's the main difference. You'll, you'll see some variations on that, like... Uh, uh, there's some some of the Japanese single malts uh, that will use Y or huh. you know, some of the others, but generally and and almost uh, uh, you know if you're seeing it and it's not a Scotch because yeah. I mean, you have single malt Scotch, which just means that it was uh, made in a single distillery, and you have blended Scotches, which is where they take Scotches from different distilleries and blend them together to get a certain flavor profile. But uh, usually, if you see a, a, a no E whiskey mm-hmm. um, that's not from Scotland, it usually indicates it's also probably a single malt. Nice. I had this in my notes. I don't know why I took it out. Did you, uh, I mentioned something about it. Did you see the Glenn Levitt had those pods? Yeah. No, those are cool. Mixed drinks pods? Yeah. Uh, they're they're like actually... rice or something. It's well, made they're, from like rice paper. Yeah. They're, they're what, what they're actually doing is actually putting scotch inside the, the pod. Yeah, but they're... It's like they're, a taster. But they're actual mixed drinks too. Oh, they're, like, they're doing cocktails too. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I knew that they were doing like the the capsules, and basically you would just like break the capsule open, and it was like a single taste. Okay. So if you wanted to try something, these were like put right in your I mouth know. and like bite yeah. It no, if, if, if if you wanted to try like a really expensive scotch or something like that, whiskey, whatever, um, you could just buy one of those instead of having to buy a whole bottle and then go fuck. I hate that. I just spent three hundred dollars. That's a good so, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of having somebody pour you a shot or something mm-hmm, like that, mm-hmm. you have a like self preserved yeah. little yep. thing. So yeah, pretty slick. Oh, yeah. So uh, uh, Chris made an appearance while I was gone. Yeah, got into a little bit of a. I don't know. I, I uh, didn't want to leave a huge gap while you were gone. Well, I was, gone, I was like, sure. oh, I'll just you know fire up the the thing and uh, did a little thing. Went after Jesus Marquez a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I called him a possible human trafficker and <laughs> running a sweatshop. And it didn't seem uh, to grab any traction, and then. 
Well, none, none of these guys actually do business by the book. That's, I mean, that, yeah. that's just standard operating procedure. Business yeah. license, ah, who needs it? You, know, you just yeah. pay a fine and do the paperwork right. later. Right. I mean, my, my wife is a realtor. She's a self-employed realtor. She has a business license. Right. County and state. Yeah. You know, so it's like, it's not hard. You just, you know, spend a couple bucks and do it. Yeah, it is. It's, um, there's actually a new business I wanted to ask, but I, I got into a little bit of a pissing match with uh, Sherman Ray. Anybody that, that paid attention to it, um, just out front here, I want to say, uh, go to Avery's Coffee over at Village Square on uh, Sahara and Fort Apache. The man never promotes his own coffee business, but uh, please, by all means, go there and get a, a cup of coffee. I guess he sells his beans. Him and his old lady bought a roaster, and they sell their yeah, beans to... They, they roast, uh, their, the, roast their own stuff. Huh? Uh-huh, and send their beans to the Tilted Kilt down on the Strip. So, uh, I mean, he's doing all right as far as business goes, but he had some opinions on uh, Pete uh, Buttigieg. I want to make sure Buttigieg. I say it right. Yeah, Buttigieg. I, I, I Buttigieg. looked it up. I yeah. looked it up how to say it. And it's, yeah, it's two words, Buttigieg. But right. What's funny is when you watch his podcast or listen to his podcast, how he says, uh, Buttigieg, and that's how you say it, folks. And that's how mm-hmm. you say it. Like, he keeps repeating right. that. He says he, he, there's a lot of these um, things that I've, I've learned to notice with people, like when they say, and that's the truth. And that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Uh, True story, folks. True Sherman, story. Sherman really likes his K. K? K, K folks? Yeah. K, so, K folks? So, you so notice that too, right? K. Yeah. K. yeah. yeah. And, um, and he also burps a lot, <laughs> which is gross when he burps into his microphone. But yeah. he, um, he responded to my criticism, but did not mention us by name, uh, except he, he did talk about the, the fake Republicans that are trolling him. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's us. I, we're we're not real Republicans. I, I, bet, I better check my that, voter reg. That's I mean, another um, because you know you know the Clark County Republican Party doesn't check voter registration anymore. They just let you in. I've never donated to anything but a Republican, and uh, I've never I've been registered as a Libertarian, but never well, I was registered as a Democrat for a minute because I was going to do it as a goof to mm-hmm. to run for AD one. I was going to pull an Eddie Hamilton and you know yeah. cross enemy lines, but that was. That was a goof. But yeah, he never calls us out by name. But that's one of the things, too, that a lot of people do is to call you a Democrat when they right. don't agree with you. Um, because but, because I'm, 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 if you go back five years, I still bet I'm one of the top five donors to the county party. Yeah. yeah. And, and he never calls us out by name, never tells his listeners. Oh, he did say that we have five or six listeners. So thanks to the <laughs> yeah, five or six of right. you that, yeah. are, that that's, are here that, right That's now. three more than I thought we had because I thought it was just you and me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've seen some numbers, and I think we're doing okay, and I mm-hmm. wouldn't compare to his. I, I don't know. Um, I, you know, I, I thought maybe I was starting a cool rap beef, but right. I, I'm, no. I'm really annoyed with the whole thing. I'm, uh, I'm not a Pete Buttigieg fan. Uh, the dude's just a mayor of a town. Yeah. I don't know when a mayor has ever won the presidency. I don't really see him as a threat. Well, um, I mean, it's not like he was like mayor of New York or something right. like that. Now, mayors of New York have won yes. the presidency. Yeah. I think Taft might have been one, okay. just off the top of my yeah, head. I mean, Rudy came close. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, and uh, even as a candidate. But yeah, the, mm-hmm. the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, to me is is not a. Not, not I don't probably think anybody's work. ready for a gay president either. They say they are, but I don't know if they were. They they would, but he puts him up there. Now there is some. See, I just did a Sherman. I just burped because uh, we're drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm waiting for him to go after Tulsi. Is that me? Yeah, I think that's you. That's my normal yeah. wake up time. Uh, I'm waiting for him to go after Tulsi. She's also a uh, reservist, mm-hmm. and she's a medic and, right. and a major in the, in the uh, Army Reserves. And and uh, I, I I like I do like Tulsi. Um, I do too. I, I I think she's got the best foreign policy of any of the Democrats for sure. Yeah, I think reparations is a stupid idea. So Very. that she's got that going against her. Um, yeah, I mean, and you know, uh, economically, she's kind of a train wreck. Yeah, you know. yeah. There's, there's, I mean, yeah, basically one thing: foreign policy. Yeah, and but, and I, but I, I mean, it, it, that's that's a big thing, you know. You, yeah, you get get us out of a bunch of wars and you know, uh, save a shit ton of money and. Uh, you know, may, maybe maybe then we do survive a fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage for a little longer until it. Catch, I mean, eventually it'll catch up either way. But right, um, you know that that's. Uh, well, a lot of people say they'd like a president that they could that they feel like they could have a beer with. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I I I want to. I mean, I don't want to be uh, gross, but uh, I'd like a president that I I could do do other things with. <laughs> and 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 Tulsi fits uh, that bill. If yeah. if Major Tulsi she's a, said she's a very attractive lady. Yeah, yeah. Specialist Dyer, I need you mm-hmm. to to service me. Mm-hmm. You'd be dumb. I well, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I have yeah. to follow orders. She, she's now. your she's your superior officer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I served in the army last, so you right. know, if Mayor 
Pete, Lieutenant Pete, told me, and I'd say, yeah, well, I'm not Navy anymore, mm-hmm. so I was, I was Army last, so no, I'm not going to do that. And Is anybody looking? And, and then... Uh, <laughs> Spilled a little bit. Got excited. But this was weird, um, <clears throat> and I, I, don't, I would hope Sherman would go after this. I, have you ever looked at um, Adam Laxalt's uh, past? I have. I am pretty familiar with it. It's bizarre, dude, because I remember when he was running for governor that some of his siblings came out against him. Yeah. And I didn't realize those are his half siblings. Right. Uh, he is the son of Pete Domenici, mm-hmm. a senator who brought, uh, a, a Senator Paul Laxalt is his granddad. Right. Went to Washington, brought his daughter along as an aide, as a, as a office aide. And, right. uh, and Pete took a liking to her, Pete mm-hmm. Domenici, and uh, got her pregnant. Yep. And never took responsibility for getting her pregnant until like 2013. Right. She raised him as a single mother. That's mm-hmm. why his name is Laxalt and not yep. Domenici. Yep. But these these prick uh, brothers and sisters that come out against him are probably just jelly because well, who knows any of the Domenici kids? Yeah, um, that's true. Fuck them all. You know, yeah. they're a bunch of losers. Meanwhile, Adam, the you know love child, uh, he he, but he did something that Sherman accused uh, Pete Buttigieg of doing. He lived in Washington all of his life, and then he joined the Navy in the Judge Advocate. Uh, yeah, the Jag general. office. Jag, yeah. have you ever watched a television program, Jag? Oh yes, I did not my, because my, my caught... dad was a big fan, and mm. uh, who was it Catherine Bell? She, okay, she's yeah. pretty hot. I caught a few clips of it, and I would see like um, the the Jag guy flying an F sixteen mm-hmm. or going out on SEAL missions, yeah, and no. I was like, yeah, this is bullshit, man. Like yeah, those, those guys don't do that. And Sherman seems to think that intelligence officers have a pretty heady job. And I, I, I explained in my video that it's, it's actually pretty mundane and routine. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's fucking paperwork and computer work a lot, but, um, you want to, you want to talk about some shit that's, that's not glamorous at all. Adam served in Iraq, right? He is Iraq veteran. Do you know what Jags really do? Um, yeah, they work on people's court martials and shit like that. Court martials, but also, let's say you have a custody deal, yeah. you have a divorce deal, you yeah, have while, a fucking while, you're, while deal. you're deployed or while you're deployed. Like that, yeah, yeah, they're they're repossessing my car. All the mm-hmm. dumb shit that you need a lawyer for in the really real world, you need a lawyer for when in you're the military. Deployed. Yeah, and that's what he's for. Yeah, anybody who makes a mistake, oh, this guy's shit on the floor in the barracks. I gotta go defend him or right. prosecute him. Like you don't get a lawyer unless you have money. You're Parents can have a lawyer come out and defend you, but normally, yeah, but, I mean, no, nobody's flying a lawyer to no. Iraq. I mean, they don't have a prosecution office and a defense office. You walk in, it's the same group of people. They're all sitting around, and one of them goes, "Oh, hey, I'm your attorney," and the other one goes, uh, "I'll be prosecuting you." And you go, "Fuck, man, this game is fixed." Yeah, man. And it's <laughs> like, oh wait, I'm wait fucked. a second, what the hell? Yeah, but I mean, they're they're true to their profession. They're true to their their oaths that well, yeah, they I mean, take. You know, the UCMJ is a different animal than our our typical justice system anyway. Right. And, and nobody likes to lose on purpose. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if you draw Adam, he's going to defend you so that he can go back to the office and go, ha, I fucking win. Yep. Yeah. I got my guy off. You, you suck. And, and so, but Adam never drove a vehicle through and you posted yeah. just from fucking April. Mm-hmm. We lost three, three more wounded and one Afghani contractor injured. Was, yeah. Hurt. Uh, I mean, that, I mean, half of the roadside bombs and IEDs and all the, you know, all the stuff that Sherman thinks makes a real veteran, you know, uh, dealing with all that stuff, that road is like death alley, man. I yeah. mean, that, that's because they know that there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of military traffic that goes back and forth from uh, Bagram to Kabul. And sure. so that's where they set them up. Well, I mean, props to anybody that's been injured or killed in all of that shit, but kind of steal a, a, a line from Trump, uh, my favorite kind of veterans are the ones that don't get caught, the don't the ones that don't get blown up. I yeah. mean, there, there's something to be said for never having that shit happen to you. And I don't know. I mean, see, he can't talk about that shit. That's the crazy thing is like he joke. We joke about what we do because we're not allowed to talk about it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's not going to tell you, like, I almost hit an IED or I almost fucking... Well, I mean, half, half it's it. probably classified anyway. That's what he I'm couldn't, saying. He couldn't tell us if he wanted he can't talk about it. Right. He'll write a book about it and, and send in it 20, off to the Department of Defense. And, and, they'll, and they'll, they'll redact all redact the... Redact the yeah. shit out of it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe in 20 years, uh, Freedom of Information Act, you know, all that. Right. And, and then you could actually tell some of the real shit that happened. Yeah. And so, I mean, the whole... His whole argument is is just fucked. And and, 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 and that, that, was my, that was my whole issue. And that's why I went after him on Twitter. It's like... 
Look, man. Um, did you listen to his podcast? Too, I didn't listen. Did to, I, I listened to a little bit of it. Not I've spoken to other people who only listen to my shit, yeah. and that kind of bums me out. Yeah. I've played a lot oh, of clips of his stuff, but of course it is I, out of context. I wasn't, I wasn't paying for Jamaican internet bandwidth to listen to Sherman Ray. I hear <laughs> this you. wasn't going to yeah, happen. Yeah. Uh, I'll, oh, it's I'll pay, free I'll over pay, there. I'll, He's from Jamaica, oh, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pay to listen to Chris, but okay. I won't. Yeah. yeah. But, but no, I mean, the it was just a, it was a fallacious argument. Yeah. It, it, it was filled with fallacy. It, it, and not only that, but... Uh, you're trying to make this argument that uh, okay, you're not a real veteran. Oh, but I'm. I, I don't. Have, I have respect for veterans. Blah blah blah. No, you know what? Um, if an, as an intelligence officer, if he was part or parcel to coming up with some piece of intelligence that saved a hundred soldiers, mm-hmm. that like kept them out of an ambush or something like. If some fucker couldn't buy bomb material because yeah. his fucking swipe card wouldn't right, work, because yeah, because the they they, they killed his credit card or you yeah. know, his uh, you know found out that they'd. Because uh, one of the things that uh, the terrorist networks will do is that they'll they'll buy uh, prepaid prepaid credit cards, right. gift cards, basically. Yeah, and they, I mean, they basically traffic in those like they're cash. When you're looking for somebody to do a job, and you go, um, "Who here speaks foreign languages?" and one of them raises his hand, mm-hmm. I, I speak parts of like seven languages. You, you know how to drive? You know your left from your right? Yes. Mm-hmm. You got two good eyes. Get in that fucking Land Rover. Let's go. Yep. Because um, we interviewed. When I was uh, when I was in the Army Reserve, we would not deploy our entire unit. We would deploy uh, just one or two people at a time when they would make sergeant. But we right. had um, we had a clearance. Most important thing to be in an interview is to have a clearance. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second most important thing is to be able to speak the language. And we don't just interview people from Afghanistan. We interview foreign fighters from different countries. So you know, oh, this yeah. fuckers from Algeria, grab mm-hmm. grab booty judge, and that's that's. Yeah. Uh, Saudi or Libyan or, you know, the European. Anyway. I mean, there's tons of, yeah, people yeah, yeah. that have come over from European countries. And, and here we've got a guy that's kind of a linguist. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I just, it bums me out, dude, because, like, part of my service, when, when I got out of Intel school, I went directly to the USS Enterprise, and we were in the shipyard. And I spent most of my time there breaking up uh, lead but, uh, sanding off lead paint and busting up asbestos tile and shit like that. I, I actually hated it so much that I volunteered to go to sea. I said, I, I'm about at the end of my enlistment. I'd right. like to go out on a cruise. They sent me out on the USS George Washington. We uh, supported the no-fly zone there. And, and that's the glamorous part, the, the yeah. ship fire and, and mm-hmm. the doing the real intel work. That was, that was what I was in for, and, and that's what I talk about. But the part I don't talk about, it kind of bums me out, is... There are guys who spent their entire enlistment just because you get sent where the military needs you. They spent their time doing shipyard work, Mm -hmm. bullshit that we weren't supposed to be doing, that we shouldn't have been doing. We weren't safe. We weren't given the proper PPE. And when you see commercials on television about, you know, do you have uh, a missile telioma? Yeah. Um, Yeah. Yeah. I fucking, uh, I got that to look forward to. And I mean, to somebody like Sherman, you know, I served in the Navy. Maybe if I had been a reservist and, and done my deployment in some situation like that, and then 20 years later, you get a nasty fucking disease that the Army or Navy says we're not going to pay for. My stepdad was a Vietnam veteran. He swam around in rivers and shit, blowing shit up and talk about it. Mm-hmm. But uh, he's got uh, a lot of effects from Agent Orange because mm-hmm. that shit seeped into the water and it seeped into him. And they'll tell you that you're not affected by it. We had uh, sailors from the USS America that were close enough to the shore of Vietnam that they were drawing water, and these guys were washing, drinking, cooking, yeah. bathing in water that had Agent Orange in it, and they deny it. They say, oh, you guys were never that close. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, they fucking know they were that close. They could yeah. see the shore from there. But uh, those guys you know, get to suffer with those diseases and never be compensated or, or you know, helped through it. And, and then you get... Fuckheads like uh, like Sherman just parsing who who's a proper yeah, veteran, who, who's, who's real, not. and who's not. Yeah, it's it's fucked so, up. So so Sherman, here, here's here's my advice to you. You want to go after Pete Buttigieg over uh, policy stuff or conspiracy all day. stuff, all or, the or mal, the Maltese oh, yeah. connection, the mm-hmm. Soros connection. Great. Yeah, no, dig, yeah. dig deep. What, whatever you know, go <laughs> go ape shit. Do it. Um, you know, I I will back you 100. percent Sure, but don't be an idiot when you're deciding how you're going to go after somebody because. That's a loser. The The arguments that you were making were losers, and it makes it harder for the rest of us to actually do a good job when we're going to criticize somebody because they can point to the shit that you do when you go after somebody's military service or whatever and go, ah, you know, he's just part of that team. And, uh, you know, so it, it, it allows 
real arguments to be dismissed. Yeah, out of yeah. Hand. It screws up the whole thing when yeah. You can, I, I mean, it's, it was only a fifteen minute portion of his thing, and and then yeah, we fucking spent two two and a half hours talking about that dude. Yeah. He thinks he's a real contender. He says, yeah. mark his words, this guy's going to win. No, so I'm, I, I I don't see it. I'm marking your fucking words because yeah, I mean I see Tulsi finishing higher than him and, and coming up above him. Mm-hmm. Uh, who the hell do you know who Katie Duncan is? Catherine Duncan, you familiar? Uh, the uh, Ward Five, um, some shit. Uh, oh, local here. Local oh, here. No, yeah, I don't know. She, she, no, not Katie Smith. Uh, yeah. No, that that piece of hotness. <laughs> Uh, from California. No, no. Katie, yeah. Katie Duncan is somebody that Sherman is going to be running their campaign. I looked her oh. up and uh, she's a, you could say four time loser. Okay. She's run for Democratic offices. So she, uh, Senate five or Assembly? Which she's going to be running in 86. 86. Okay. But she tried to get, um, who is it that got booted? Uh, Atkinson. Mm-hmm. Um, she, she, I won't call that one a loss. So we'll, we'll, we'll call it three and one no yeah, yeah. contest. Okay, okay. Now I know who you're talking about. Because, yeah. yeah, they tried to appoint somebody. She mm-hmm. was part of that process. So, I mean, just to make the short list is, is good. But she's lost uh, different Ward 5, different uh, races. Mm-hmm. Sherman is starting a uh, company. He was going to start a company for his podcast. And, right. and now he's just um, S. Ray Media Group, LLC, is going to encompass his uh, campaign management and his podcast, okay. and he's going to be managing her podcast. So my question is: Has she changed to Republican? Is she like I, yeah. I can't look up her her uh, registration, but she's run several times as a Dem. I don't know. Interesting. It is interesting, and, and it's just a question. I don't know. Um, and also, uh, why the fuck aren't we fleecing these sheep? You and I have more campaign experience oh, yeah. than Sherman. Yeah, I've, I've thought about it. Uh, yeah. To be honest, uh, if somebody you know, wants to pay us to run their campaign, I, I, I think we I can connect you with donors and yeah, door knockers. I, I have two teenagers that re- can recruit some cheap mm-hmm. labor to knock doors and make phone calls. Yeah, uh, but for me, it's just time. I mean, yeah. if, if I, you know, if I found a candidate or somebody that I thought was a, a good candidate and I could develop, uh, I could devote the time, I'd run their campaign for free. I don't care. Yeah, and I do a better job than half the paid guys out there for sure. For sure, yeah. And I mean, we have Team Nevada already. We yeah. could definitely convert that into a uh, consulting a, a business, for-profit consulting company. These, these fucks always with. Their consulting mm-hmm. business, yeah. Like I, I've I've offered to help candidates uh, for free. Just you know, I mean, I wouldn't like go anywhere, but I can spend three hours on the phone while I'm working mm-hmm. to you know give them advice. I, I've run for office four times, um, three of those as a goof. Uh, you yeah. can, but I mean, there's oh, there's experience in there when when you're doing that. That uh, you know, I, you you, you kind of forgot to do a thing. Oh, um, oh, go ahead. keep going, keep going. I'll, no, I just I was, I was going to post this on uh, Facebook that we're on on Periscope right now. Right. Oh, dude, I was listening to this history um, book that I have on tape um, uh, on Audible, and uh, th- this was this was cool. Just a real quick aside. Uh, Calhoun. Oh, shit. What was his first name? John? John C. Calhoun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, apparently, the, the, uh, the, the dig on him was that, I don't know if this is true, anecdotal, or just part of the, the story, but th- that he couldn't write a love poem that didn't have uh, whereas <laughs> as at the beginning of every line and and finish with uh, therefore oh, you know like the, the guy was such a such a wonk for uh, for politics that he mm-hmm. he couldn't even he couldn't even write a love poem that wasn't in the form of a resolution right it was uh, it was lovely that's funny uh, let's see oh oh we killed the number two ISIS guy we did hey, how you like that shit uh, like the guy's like hey I get a promotion and then we fucking yeah, like, kill him too. Sh- uh, and, and I was actually, from what I understand, uh, it was a canine service officer that uh, was kind of the responsible for for the whole thing. For yeah. the number two guy or the yeah. number one guy? Not, oh, is that... So we got out Baghdadi Al- Al- the Baghdadi. other day. Yeah, he, yeah, it was the dog that got him, right? Yeah, what was that dog's name? They just put it out. It wasn't. No, they, they, they didn't declassify his name, I didn't think. Yes, they did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I they didn't put know it out. It was... Um, uh, shit, I can't remember. Now. Oh, oh, Conan. Named ah. after Conan O'Brien. Oh, nice. Yeah, they named it after, and it's a girl dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, they okay. did. They did declassify the name, and the dog's name is Conan. But yeah, for a minute there, it was it was just classified. Uh, but then they got the then they, you know they're like we don't even know the second guy's name. Like the 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 vice chair of ISIS is like, well, I guess I'm in charge now. And and now nah, you're fucking dead too. It makes me think that he mm-hmm. was. They already knew where he was, and they just yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's probably like a <laughs> like the number three guy. The, the, old, is like, the old one two punch. Hey guys. Fuck this, you know. Like, <laughs> maybe maybe I don't want to, you know. No, maybe I don't want this job. I don't no, know. I don't want to be in charge because I guess mm-hmm. Al Baghdadi wasn't even. He was just a yes or no guy. He wasn't even coordinating anything. They would just go, "Hey, can we do this?" And go, "Yeah" or mm-hmm. "No." And I mean, that's yeah. The uh, uh, 
what was it, Washington Post? Yeah. You, you saw their... Uh, austere... Uh, yeah, uh, austere religious leader or something like that. Oh, uh, shit. Um, yeah, what'd they call him? Oh, fuck, I can't yeah. remember it. Oh, it was austere something. Yeah, yeah. it was... They were, yeah, they that were was, uh, nice I, about yeah, it. I've, I've not austere seen... Austere cleric, I think, yeah, was the word. Cleric. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm looking at that going... Uh, you, sh- you sure? Yeah. Washington Post is in some deep shit now oh, because God, yeah. they reopened the Covington kids uh, right. uh, lawsuit as well. So I guess the lawyers there, um, they did some lawyering and, mm-hmm. and they figured out that, uh, oh, they just got, we just got to change a few words here and then yeah. resubmit. And, and uh, go. yeah, it's good to go. No, yeah, they, uh, the, the Washington Post is, I mean, how that goes out that way, it gets past an editor, it, everything else. I know. Without... Without, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, your bias is showing. It just is. I want the Washington Post thing to go through because then I want them to go after a bunch of other people because while I love Wheeler Walker Jr.'s music and and the whole gimmick, you know, Mm -hmm. he's two different people. He's Ben Hoffman and he's Wheeler Walker. I can relate to that. Uh, But uh, also he put out that tweet that anyone who kicked that kid in the dick would get his full catalog on uh, vinyl. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's disgusting to, yeah. to threaten a 16 year old child like that. And, and I hope, I hope that Wheeler has to fucking start touring in order to pay for the lawsuit yeah. that he's going to get. And I can show up with my genuine campaign official Trump, Trump hat, Trump hat. Yeah. All and, right. and go right up to the front of the stage and sing along with every word. Excellent. And enjoy the shit out of a Wheeler Walker show. Um, I went to uh, Daphne Daphne Lee. Uh, mm-hmm. Her daughter has been playing soccer forever since yeah, yeah. I've known her. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hannah, yeah, and, playing, playing for uh, Washington now, or no, uh, Wyoming now. Sorry. Right, but she started at Bishop Gorman in high mm-hmm. school and everything. Mm-hmm. My daughter gets all pissy. I'm well, like, she listen, played, she played club soccer and everything else. Sure, from, from when she was a kid. But I had to explain to my daughter like the best of the best go to Bishop Gorman. If you're the the starting goalie for Bishop Gorman you're pretty much better than anybody else in the Valley. Yeah. I mean, it's good to be the starting anything. Uh, for instance, congratulations to Sherman Ray's grandson. Sher- I figure Sherman must be 45 because uh, his grandson's 15. He's the okay. uh, uh, sophomore quarterback at Bonanza High School. He's starting oh, wow. as a sophomore. That's, yeah, that's I mean, you're the best you're, quarterback you're, you're, at Bonanza High School. Yeah, if you're, if you're starting, uh, you know, starting on the varsity team as a sophomore, that's impressive. That's impressive, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I, yeah, I figure if he's got a 15-year-old grandson and – you could possibly be like, how old will you be when your grandkid is 15? Uh, when my grandkid is 15, she's two now, I'm 43, 55. Okay. So if my daughter had a kid now, I'd be 62. Yeah. So yeah, I, I figure Sherman's probably about 45. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> Nat, Nat and I got started way early, but right, my, my kid. And that's wait, what I'm figuring. Sherman yeah. might have gotten an early start, and his Maybe. kid got an early start. Like the, you know, like I'm from Appalachia, yeah. so I don't judge on that. I do right. know people that were, you know, like going to high school with their kid. Mm-hmm. I'm joking. That's not a thing. <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I mean, oh, no, no, no. Natalie, Natalie went to high school with our, with our kids. <laughs> so she, they, they actually had a special high school, not, you know, nighttime high school just for the. All no, no, no. All, I all mean, the girls like, got knocked up. You're but, a senior and your oh, kid and your is a freshman. Like fr- oh, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't quite that bad. Right. But no, I, that's how we do it back in, in Virginia, mm-hmm. West Virginia, Kentucky, that sort of shit. So, yeah, no judgments there. Having kids young is, is super cool. But uh, um, we went to the game. Wyoming came and played UNLV. Right. And I've never gone to any of these soccer games, never really had a reason to, because I, I, I don't belong there, I have no business there, but I asked my daughter, would you like to go to UNLV and watch soccer game? Did, was the Sam Boyd or where was it? No, uh, there's a soccer field uh, down, um, shoot, Paradise and like Flamingo, uh, right where oh, okay. the yeah, nuclear yeah, yeah. The place other, is. Yeah, kind of the other corner. Yeah, they have a soccer facility there, baseball facility. The football practice area right. is there. So, yeah, they have all their sports facilities right there in that area. And I can't remember the name of the, the soccer facility, but it's it's outdoor. It's mm-hmm. nice. It was a beautiful night. But I asked my daughter, as a future rebel, she'll be going to UNLV if right. she'd like to go to a game. And uh, we went there, saw them uh, doing their, their tailgating thing for Wyoming. But uh, I got a new girlfriend is my point. Oh, man. Because uh, there's, a, one. there's a girl on the UNLV <laughs> team, uh, Paige Almanderas. She's uh, 21, I would assume, because she's a junior. But uh, apparently she's got a British soccer player boyfriend, so oh, I'm already, I'm already yeah, you're, out. But, yeah, I mean, you can look her up. You're playing she's, second fiddle already. Yeah. Well, I don't know. If I won the lottery, all of a sudden I'm a rich old guy, and that That's guy's true. just some scrub fucking yeah, British, soccer British soccer player. player. Yeah, fuck yeah. him. But, uh, she, uh, yeah, she's number eight. On and she, This is weird. She's from Sacramento. Mm-hmm. And uh, like 
Hannah had to go to Wyoming in order to get a full ride. And right. there's a bunch of girls from Las Vegas that play on the Wyoming team. This was cool. like a this was like a rivalries thing because wow. some of these Las Vegas girls play for UNLV. Play for, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, in order to get the the full ride and to get, I guess, the promise of a starting position and mm-hmm. stuff like that, you got to go where you got to go. Right. But meanwhile, we're recruiting. But uh, this girl is like a former ballerina. She's fast as shit. Like she she held her side of the field down on lock. So mm-hmm. I, I was impressed. And then Pretty I cool. and then I looked her up. And then I sent a picture to my son, and I said, "This is uh, this is new mommy." And he says, "Yeah, that, that, that looks like a dude. He uh. goes, that's that's new daddy." And I'm like, "Yeah, fuck you, man. That's not cool at all." I, I told him that they check vaginas in college sports. I don't uh, think they do anymore. I know. I was joking. I just wanted well, to no, cover I mean, my I just, ass. I, you know, it's however you identify, right? I think so. That, yeah, that how it works now. They, I, well, I think if you say you're female, yeah, there's been a bunch of people right. that have done that. Here, here's her picture. Smoking, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's something cute. else. Yeah. yeah. yeah we'll hold that up to the thing and see uh, if I can keep yeah, it there. There, there, we there we go. Yeah. I mean, you can look her up, but whatever. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking creep now. I'm creeping out on this 21-year-old. What? I, I told my daughter, you know, like, anytime you want to go to this stuff, let me know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm down. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> she'll never go again. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, what else I wrote down here? Mm. Oh, I, I, I did catch Sherman saying... Butkus a lot instead of bubkus. Bub, bubkus. Bubkus. It's a Yiddish word. Yeah. Turns out, um, I mean, like, Butkus is a football player. Really Dick, good one. Dick Butkus. Yeah. But it turns out that uh, it it has become like accepted to say that. Like the, instead of the proper Yiddish word of bubkus. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I learned bubkus from uh, Mel Brooks, man. I right. Mean, right. But I looked it up, and and like in in the dictionary, like in the urban dictionary or whatever, oh, it's just still it's just butkus? become accepted. Wow, Butkus because of Dick Butkus. Is, it, is that like uh, nuclear and nu- nuclear? Nuclear. I can't, I can't even say it the wrong. Way. I know, right? It's, <laughs> it's so nuclear. Hard. It's nuclear. Just look at how it's spelled. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I, I, I'm just I have all these questions about Sherman that I just wanted to ask you. Like, have you ever have you noticed that he he says he does the thing alone, and then he'll say um, uh, clip six go right. Like I think he's got a producer, does he? Somebody, somebody like uh, I think he's man on the man on the soundboard. Or on something? the board, yeah. I think he's oh, pretending okay. that he's there by himself, and then yeah, I mean either that or he's got the same thing I have with the multiple personalities. He's yeah, he's, he's talking to himself, que- queuing himself up yeah, yeah. to play clip six, clip six, go, and then he yeah, he's yeah. Uh, just telling himself, and um, it, he's got some sort of obligation to be on time. Hmm. He he always says, "Well, we're running out of time, folks." Uh, okay, and okay, we're running out of time, folks. We never run out of time. No, we, I mean, we, well, we, 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 want. we try and go an hour. But well, I like, mean, yeah, yeah, you can ish. go short, you can go long, but yeah, it seems like he has a commitment to starting at six. Maybe that's just him uh, putting that on himself because it, he likes to start his videos yeah, at six. Yeah, I mean, it, maybe, maybe he feels like he'll get a better crowd, uh, more regular listeners if he uh, starts the broadcast at a specific time and ends at a specific time. Yeah. Or, or to be easier to syndicate or See, something. now I've got some advice for Sherman because I do enjoy his show. Uh, whether it's hate listening or not, he does a portion of it on Facebook Live for right. his uh, Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And then he dips out because he does have ads for... Uh, whatever podcast platform he's using on, uh, I can't remember the name, Anchor, Anchor. anchor.fm. Um, so I'm promoting the shit out of Sherman yeah, stuff, but I do have some serious advice for Sherman. Put your shit on YouTube. Yeah. All you got to do, I mean, like I go in and I cut our find, song find off. An image. I mean, we have video now, so we just do it that way. But. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I make, um, uh, what do you call them? The thumbnails. Mm-hmm. And I'll, you know, I'm going to start making more thumbnails because it makes the videos look uh, cleaner. Mm-hmm. It's just a little bit of work. It, it doesn't take much for me to do it. Right. Um, you know, there's there's photo apps. You can you can make stand with Trump shit that's all yours, all your own, instead of stealing shit from the mm-hmm. internet that's that's <laughs> not appropriate. <laughs> um, but Sherman needs to start putting his shit on YouTube. I I, I highly suggest that video. You know, is it, I mean, hit all the the platforms, but YouTube is is a big one. And and I, I wish he would put. More of his shit on YouTube. He did take some of my advice. I don't know if you oh, noticed. Yeah? Uh, a friend of mine and I had noticed that he had a nasty, gnarly fucking ironing board in the back. I did notice that he moved the ironing board because I pointed it out. I know. But yeah, it was you very pointed it out like a half a dozen times. <laughs> and- <laughs> no, no, I pointed it out when it was gone. Right. Like, hey, look, well, it's no, you, gone. We, we talked about the ironing board a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you and know, that just like, hey, I mean, we have a we have a printer in the background, which is bad enough. But I want to think, I want to hope because this is what would happen 
with my wife is she watched it or listened to it and went, what are they talking about with the ironing board? And then went in the room and went, Sherman, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking nasty. Like, uh-huh. why? This doesn't look it, professional. He's got a different camera angle now. He's working on stuff, mm-hmm. and, and that's cool. Um, shit. Well, I, I like have, good content. You like good content. Everybody, you know, it's like sure. put a little effort into it, and it gets better. So the county party, I assume, is pretty happy. There's been some division uh and I assume that they're they're probably happy that I've kind of focused on Sherman. But um, did you saw a tweet where they tweeted out a picture oh, yeah. of a, a picture stand of a, with Trump? Yeah, stand with Trump blanket, like a knockoff one. Yeah, I found that on but, Amazon. I yeah, looked up the image. Um, the uh, the funny part though was uh, that they still are not doing basic spell slash grammar check. Yeah, and. Uh, it, it, it was it was supposed to the the tweet or it was either I don't remember if it was a tweet or a Facebook post or whatever but right. it was supposed to say how about you like you know how apostrophe, apostrophe about, about you right but b o u t b o u t uh, but uh, in classic CCRP form uh, when they posted it it says how about you how about you how about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So I of course have to you know screen cap that shit and uh-huh. point it out. But it's like it's I tried hard, to guys. find it on Twitter, but they blocked me. Oh, Have they blocked they? you yet? No, no, I don't think I so. Fuckers blocked Juggalo Patriot, but like I posted on Juggalo Patriot, there is another. Mm. Yeah, oh. so good luck. <laughs> good luck finding that shit because they got like eighteen hundred followers. So. Oh, I know yeah. they're, they're not going to go through the whole thing. Pair, so what, wait, 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 out, right? Oh no, I don't know. I was I was actually going to just I was just going to ask you about this because yeah. you you had mentioned something about uh, the guy that created the website uh, quit or was gone or whatever. Um, the new website is shit, by the way. It's garbage, yeah. Oh, my God. But this is what I heard. I don't know where I heard it from, but somebody said that Paris is out. So really? I don't they, know if his whole... Yeah, do they just not company. pay him, or do they... What What the hell happened? Uh, maybe, uh... Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, it, it looks maybe better. Maybe they fired him? No, they, I mean, they, they did some improvements here. It's a little better. Yeah, they changed something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, what, what the fuck... Uh, apparently, we have uh, the state meeting coming up in February. February. Correct. Correct. And... So These dumb fuckers scheduled the Lincoln Day. The Lincoln Day dinner. Now, m- maybe Same day. D- Dave Sajdak was not around for this, mm-hmm. but let me please add a little bit of history to mm. for you. Um, now, I don't recall if this was actually the convention or just a regular state meeting, but a few years ago, um, this would have been the McKeon era, so 2014-ish, somewhere in there, uh, the uh, CCRP pulled a similar stunt and scheduled their Lincoln Day or some some kind of big fundraiser that they had promoted and spent a lot of money on for the same day as a state party meeting. I was at that shit. I remember that yeah. shit. I wasn't at the Lincoln Day. I was at the state meeting Nick, because that's the first time I saw yeah. a Rand Paul fucking cutout. Yeah. Nick Phillips yeah. actually had the balls to step up to a microphone and motion that we all adjourn or we all recess so that everybody could go to the CCRP's fundraiser. <laughs> I remember because that. Because things were running late, as they do. Yeah. And uh, and we had people from all over the state yeah. there. It would have been a real win for the county mm-hmm. if everybody from the state meeting would have gone to the Lincoln Day dinner. And, well, the, the problem, But you had to buy tickets ahead of time. You, you, do, you, you did have to buy a ticket, first of all. Second of all, these guys, the, the, the you know, Sajdak and whoever else are planning this thing, did, did they bother to make a single fucking phone call to Michael McDonald or Will, the executive director, or anybody at the state party going, hey, uh, you know, you're going to have most of the state down here. There's going to be some, uh, you know, possibly uh, a few, uh, uh, you know, dignitaries, elected officials, whatever. Yeah. Uh, would, would you be all right with it if we scheduled our Lincoln Day for the same weekend? Right. You know? uh, and, you know, I, I would guess that if that phone call were made, it would have been, okay, well, let us move some stuff around or let us, uh, you know, make sure that there's no conflicts. But, yeah. yeah, then that way we can make it work. Do they do that? Hell no. They no. just go, well, the state meeting's here, so we're just going to schedule our Lincoln Day and, you know, hope to, uh, you know, trade off of uh, hey. the uh, goodwill of... Uh, yeah, look at that! Happy Nevada Day, everybody. There you go. Uh, hope, hope to trade off the goodwill of the state party, and you know, hope the people show up. But I hope you, uh, you know, uh, hope the meeting runs on time. Hope it's not late, because if it is, uh, people are going to be choosing. And 
That's just the way it goes. Is there going to be time to become a state delegate before that meeting? It's in February. That's a yeah. while away. Yeah. Are there going to be some openings? Uh, there might be. Uh, it just kind of depends on your district and stuff like that. Yeah. But I'm going to have to way, One way or the other, uh, we'll get you, we can get a proxy. And you oh, can, that's true. You can I can go there with somebody's guest, proxy. With somebody's proxy, so you can still vote and everything. Yeah. But, I want to go to that state meeting. Yeah. Try and make it run long to fucking the, the sabotage other, the... The weapon. other thing, um, and, you know, I don't know... The the uh, all all the uh, all that has to happen or all that's supposed to happen is that the state meeting is supposed to be somewhere in the southern end of the state. It doesn't okay. it doesn't have to be Las Vegas. It just right. has to be the south end of the state. Right. That could be Pahrump. Needles. That could be Laughlin. <laughs> that could be Mesquite. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could even make an argument that uh, Tonopah is sort of in the south end of the valley. Sure. Or south end of the state, right? Sure. Rachel. We do it yeah. in Rachel, Nevada. Some, you know, anywhere like that. <laughs> draw a line through the middle of the state. You know, find, find somewhere that has enough rooms and a big enough venue that you can hold a meeting of 300 people. Yeah. And, uh, or, you know, 200-ish people, and you're there. So... What happens if uh, you know the state party comes out and announces, "All right, we we uh, hope to see you all in Pahrump in February." Sure. Uh, people are going to be driving an hour and a half over the hump to uh, come back for the fundraiser in February too. In February. It's just no joke, man. Yeah. It's just, no, I mean that, that it snows gets, up there. It gets icy and snows up. Yeah, on the yeah, hump. yeah, yeah. Especially in the evening. Yeah, not cool. Is this a uh, um, an official call to meeting? This is an official call to meeting. Okay, good. Now, so they the they moved, is they moved the meeting. So it's actually a week earlier than it normally is. It's right. the second second Tuesday instead of the third Tuesday. Now, normally that's that's a bylaw problem because yeah. the bylaws specifically say that uh, the meeting is supposed to be held on a day of the week in the third week of the month. Oh. Um, but uh, it does have a, like you can make an exception for. Uh, elections and holidays. Right now, they don't mention that they're doing this because of Thanksgiving, which is the real reason that they're doing it. The room I, is probably booked that we normally have. That, that, that's the, possible. Their, their yeah. Christmas so, party, I think. Yeah, the, the Silverton Christmas party. So the uh, so I, I decided uh, I, I did mention it to Eddie Facey when uh, you know when when they announced that it was going to be early. I'm like, hey, look, you know the, the bylaws say you got to do a third week, so make sure you're okay. Yeah. Um, but because uh, we, we actually ran into that once with Cindy Lake because the bylaws were fixed. There was no exceptions. You had to do it on a specific day. Shit. We had to change it, and people lost their shit. I mean, they lost their fucking minds. I don't mind. I, Tuesday is Tuesday. No matter what yeah. week of the month it is, it's fine. I'm I just, not, just got to complain find about out that. if I've got a... Let's see here. Yeah. I don't think there's a hockey game, but I'll do, I'm double checking right now. Oh fuck you, dude! If there's a hockey game, that's a problem. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't. I don't think there's a home game. I think there might be a hockey game, but okay. I think they're away. So, you, yeah, I'll check it later. Do they have a donate thing now? Can because I've got to pay for our table. Uh, uh, they do. They have a donate thing. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Donate link. I got my dollar back from Sherman. Oh, did you? I donated to uh, his uh, Nevada conservative forum. Oh, he sent it back to you. He didn't send it back to me. He never started a an account. With PayPal. Oh, okay. So he put a PayPal link there. And then and just doesn't have an account? Didn't create an account. Wow. So it got kicked back to All me. All right. So yeah, 10, 20, 50, 100. Inner amount. Yeah, or amount. whatever. Okay. I could probably put that in the notes there that I'm paying for yeah, the Yeah. So it sounds like, uh, I'm curious. Let's see how this works. 100 bucks. Oh, they're using Stripe now. Damn, they're going big time. Uh, there's nowhere for, is there anywhere for notes in that fucker? No, not really. So. But I mean, you know, like 75 here, custom. Uh, no, there isn't. You just, Shit. and yeah, Stripe, Stripe is, uh, so they actually went out and got a direct Stripe account. I wonder, ah, oh, that's interesting. I wonder Stripe, because uh, Stripe generally has requirements. You have to have a business license or, you know, be a real business and stuff like that in oh. order to, uh, have an account. But Do we have a real business license? Well, uh, the CCRP used to be once upon a time, a, uh, a registered nonprofit in the state of Nevada. Um, someone who may or may not be sitting at this desk at this moment in time uh, utilized that uh, the, the law pertaining to uh, registered nonprofits to force um, a certain former chairman named Dave to provide to me a list of membership, ah. a, a member list, because I was running for chair. Right. And I was like, hey, you know, I need a, I need a member list. And he's like, no. And I'm like, well, legally, you got to give me a member list. And he's like, no, I don't. And I'm like... Yeah, you do because the CCRP is a registered nonprofit, and here's wh- here's where it says that any member of a nonprofit organization—I'm a member—can mm-hmm. request a list of the rest of the members of said nonprofit organization. 
And shortly after I'd lost that election and Ed Williams won, the county party was no longer a registered nonprofit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Have you so, ever seen a contact us with more info at? Uh, I've seen info. Yeah, but info. Never, never more info. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen that. I mean, it makes sense, but. Yeah, I mean, and why you don't stupid. just. Why, why don't you just. I mean, I assume this just opens up an email. Yeah, yeah, it just opens up an email. Okay. See, I don't know why you don't just put a website form on there. You know, just put a, put a freaking web form on there. It's better, and because that's just going to get harvested and spammed spammed to death. Oh yeah, so, Jesus. Yeah, websites are hard. I mean, especially yeah. when you fire the guys that built it and don't hold them accountable. That's true. Uh, I don't know who they're going to get to actually maintain this thing now. I know somebody that'll do it. Yeah, for the money, but yeah, whatever. They know who it is too. She, she, so. Yeah, she she would probably do it. She's out of town right now. Oh, she got uh, some work out of town. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, you know, you gotta, I think it's political stuff. Got to make it's the money. Still in the same realm. Yeah. Well, good. I mean, she she wanted to work in that in that area anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I had a buddy. Uh, I have a buddy, Andy Demers. He's worked. You met him. He's been on some campaigns. He worked for oh, yeah. Carl's campaign. Oh yeah, I know. I know Andy. Yeah. How come fucking Carl and Richard don't run a consulting firm. They they just completely. Yeah, they don't care. They hate this shit. Yeah. Huh? And that's that's the proper way to do it. Just completely bail mm-hmm. out on it and don't do it anymore. I mean, those guys could run a fucking campaign. Yeah. No. I mean, they they know data and everything else. They, yeah. they know how to do it. All that shit. You know, uh, you know, Rand, uh, you know, Rand outperformed. You know, Ron outperformed. Yeah. You know, every time, every time the a, a somebody with the last name Paul ran in the state, they always outperformed. Yeah. So because of the bunch. Because of yeah, because they had you know better data and a good operation. So yeah. They knew how to do it. Did you see the thing about Pierre Delecto? I did. I love oh, it. Oh yeah, I me too. It. That's fucking awesome. That, that is that's genius. Yeah. I mean, Pierre Delecto. What was everybody the, citing? This, Carlos Danger, I guess that yeah. was. Uh, well, yeah, Carlos uh, Danger was uh, Wiener. Uh, Wiener, yeah, yeah Anthony, Anthony Wiener. Wiener. But Pierre Delecto is well, that's a pretty good one too. Yeah. Do you, do you think he lives it down? I mean, or or does whoever run against him in a primary just run against Pierre Delecto? And, uh, I mean, I'm wondering what you know. I love this wonky county shit, so I gotta wonder like what it's like right now to be in um, what's the county in Salt Lake City. That's Salt Lake thinking. County. Is it Salt Lake County? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, the that's, Salt Lake that's, that's County. The, one. the Salt Lake City area has like uh, three or four counties that are that it's sort of part oh, of. Oh, different than us, huh? They yeah. got small counties in the same yeah, metro I mean, the, area. The, 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 the big one is, uh, is Salt Lake County, but okay. in, in the same kind of metro area, you've also got uh, uh, Utah County, which is just on. So, there's other the counties south. that kind of yeah, dip da- in. Davis County is to the metro area. To the north. And, All right. Yeah. So, uh, if you were part of the Salt Lake County area, uh, Republican Party, mm-hmm. I gotta imagine it's fun there right now because oh, yeah. you've got well this senator that everybody thinks is a piece of shit, and he's out doing shit like Pierre Delecto and tweeting and responding to journalists and stuff. Right. And I mean, do you know he's our he's our incumbent, right? He's our guy, but mm-hmm. he's against our president. Uh, nobody outwardly in our party is against the president. They do nefarious shit behind. You know the closed doors to to screw him over for uh, merchandise and shit like that, but not outright. Like yeah. Mitt is actively sabotaging. Actively, yeah, he's the president. He's, uh, yeah, he's said as much. Yeah, not all, I mean, so uh, most people probably don't know this. I, I only know it peripherally, uh, and I don't know if that it's the case today. But I know over the last I don't know five eight eight years whatever, it has been the case. So the the Utah Republican Party. Uh, much like the Nevada Republican Party, is full of people that are very hardcore conservative, grassroots activist types, and they hate rhinos too. Um, in fact, when Mitt announced that he was going to run, most of the you know central committee members from the Utah Republican Party weren't particularly excited about it because they know what he is, just like we do. Right. Um, however, and and to their credit, the Utah Republican Party has actually enacted some uh, uh, some laws and bylaws and things like that that allow the actual party or the state convention to choose a candidate instead of having a primary or anything like that. Nice. So if yeah, if you're Pays running to be an activist. Yeah, if you're if you're running a statewide office or for statewide office and you can get two thirds of the uh, uh, of the state convention to sign off on you, you are the candidate. That's how it works. Shit. Yeah. It's badass. That's cool. Yeah. I love it. Um, so uh, like uh, Mike Lee uh, as I understand it, the reason, I mean, the, 
the political establishment in Utah hates Mike Lee. They, they think he's horrible. Uh-huh. I think he's awesome. Um, <laughs> but the reason that Mike Lee is, is a senator today is that he used that process to actually get the, uh, the nomination. Nice. Uh, and get through, you know, without actually having to go through a primary or anything. So even though Mitt's the incumbent, if they use that process, they could... I don't know if it would apply to an incumbent. Okay. And uh, you, you've also got, you know, obviously you've got a significant religious contingent who will back Mitt. You yeah. know, I mean, it doesn't matter what he does. Right. You know, unless he's, uh, you know, uh, unless he's caught in a, you know, in a bathroom stall with a very young boy or something like that. They, Our friends, the killers, have been guilty of that. They've campaigned yeah. for Harry Reid and mm-hmm. Mitt Romney. They don't fall into Democrat or Republican. Mm-hmm. They're strictly Mormon. Nope. They, they, uh, yeah. They're not. They're not partisan. They are issue based and religious based. So, I. Um, I mean, you know, so, some of our some of our friends who we would generally agree with most things on uh, uh, policy wise uh, still were perfectly willing to back Mittens um, you know, <laughs> when he ran. Yeah. Um, Willard. You know, uh, I, I think I think they they probably regret that decision. I don't know, Sally. Let us know. Th- that um, might be part <laughs> of how Dave McKeon rose up. He he, uh, he, he uh, former Mormon. Former, yeah, yeah likes former to talk Mormon. about his uh, mission. Yeah, always got to uh, drop where you went on your mission, and yep. everybody just that guy. Well, he, he leaves out the part where he got excommunicated. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, details. I would leave that part out too. Details. I mean, yeah, no no hate there. No, nah. um, I caused a little bit of a, a stir, I guess. Um, I uh, made a goof. A lot of people are are mad at at Donald Trump for a lot of different things, and they're serious oh, the things. Poster, the poster thing, fucking poster thing. <laughs> so I I wrote a I write a, a blog at JuggaloPatriot.com, and and I enjoy writing uh, the 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 Dan Rodimer part. I thought was pretty good, fucking yeah. awesome. I, yeah. I was laughing at my own <laughs> prose there, uh, as you when, should, when as, pa- as one should. When Picasso <laughs> painted the Last Supper, I just sat back and looked at that one, like you fucking nailed it, Chris. Good job. Except and, Picasso and they, didn't paint the Last Supper. Correct. <laughs> you okay, see? All right. okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm so, <laughs> follow right. along, follow I said along. it to my wife, and then I was like, "You yeah. get it?" Yeah. And she's yeah. like, "He didn't paint it." I was like, "Yes, yes. there you go. You got it." <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I I made a joke that uh, the the. There's a new poster out, but the old poster was supposed to be limited edition. And mm-hmm. I forgot that nerds get upset about this shit. The cousin that I gave the number 240 out of 5,000 to actually texted me while I was dealing with the aftermath of what I'd said in my blog and said, are you seriously not supporting Trump now because of the poster thing? <laughs> and I was like, no, no. Read the whole thing. Not fucking seriously. Did you read the whole blog? Did you read the part about Daniel Rodheimer? Like, fuck no, dude. It's, it's me getting outraged about something that's clearly not... It doesn't fucking yeah. matter, right? I mean, but I forget that nerds, like the artist, uh, mm-hmm. Keith Tomzik, he is he has a beautiful uh, comic books cave, and my cousin does as well. When somebody says some shit is limited and then it's not, they get pissed. Mm-hmm. And and Keith is, is probably a little annoyed at that. And so when I called it out and said, hey, I've got my new poster, and it's number 7402. What is that, 7402 out of 5,000? He thought I was really... Upset somebody, about it. Somebody fucking screen capped my shit your, your and blog. sent it to him and he says somebody sent me this why that's all he yeah. said somebody sent me this why and i'm like wait did you read the whole fucking thing yeah and who sent it to you he wouldn't tell me yeah but uh you know probably to want a crab i would imagine <laughs> somebody somebody that doesn't like oh, me God. and and uh thank you for sending it to him and, and starting shit he gets it he gets jokes mm-hmm. uh so it's all good but um yeah, I, I have a poster now, seventy four hundred two, and when he gets back into town, uh, I'm gonna get him autograph. I'm gonna get him to sign it and everything, maybe to the Dyer family, and he can he can fucking write the limited yeah. number. <laughs> uh, he can draw the infinity sign there. I whatever. I don't care. It's a fucking sweet yeah, poster. It's a cool poster, and it's cool that I I've met the artist. I'm friends with him. He's an Air Force veteran. I don't know what he did in the Air Force, but he's an Air Force veteran. So Wait, that's he, he's not a veteran unless he got his leg blown. <laughs> Fucking Air Force, dude. They're barely veterans, yeah. man. They have the best food. Do you know? Do you know how? Well, to... That's why they call it the Chair Force. <laughs> yeah. Do, um, do I, you... I, don't, I don't know if uh, Sean Meehan is, is listening, but if he is, is that what but... he calls it? No, no. He was. He's an Air Force vet too. Okay. But yeah, uh, he, yeah. People, he, people always give him shit for being in the Chair Force. They have. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, veterans give other veterans shit. We have a, a ranking for uh, for females, and uh, do you, can can you can you get? It probably goes along with the food. Too uh, food and and quality of food and quality of females kind of mm-hmm. side by side. You, you, can you imagine who has the the best looking <laughs> women in the, in oh, the military? I'm, I'm certain that I know. It's it's the Air yeah. Force, and then uh, uh, Army. Army is next. 
Yeah. Really? And, yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought the Navy girls would be. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Navy and then Marines. So, yeah, Navy would be third. Marine girls are a different breed. Oh, God, um, yeah. Some of them are very attractive, but they're Marine girls. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, Marines, <laughs> Marines are Marines. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. and they're, they're special. They're, uh, <laughs> they, uh, what do they say? Uh, they're still looking for a few good men. Like they still haven't found them. Right. But, <laughs> um, yeah. It takes a special kind of person to be a Marine and a special kind of female to be a female. I, I, Marine. I think you gotta be a masochist to want to be a Marine really. Cause I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta enjoy suffering because it's like, okay, we're going to send you into the worst shit. You're going to get the worst equipment. Bullet you're sponge. Get, yeah, yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what we call them. Bullet sponges. But I mean like you're, well, and then, and then you got to deal with all the asshole Navy guys that are like, uh, technically you're in, you're in the Navy and, uh, you know, never pulled that shit. <laughs> I, I stepped either. out on the fantail one day and didn't realize it was the Marine Corps <laughs> birthday and they were out there singing the Marine Corps song. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know every word and, uh, um, I could sing the, the, the yeah, I could sing them both Navy yeah. and Marines, but, um, yeah, they, they were singing the song, and then uh, they, you know they turned around and looked at us. We were out there to smoke a cigarette, and they were, "What do you think about that, baby?" And I was like, "Happy birthday, guys!" Like, mm-hmm. I've never uh, I've never had a bad Give thing to say about me. the Marines, yeah. but it's um, it's like if you want to be hardcore, but you want to be hardcore with a bunch of other people, because if you really are fucking hardcore, you join the army or the navy, and then you go special forces. Yeah, you go rangers or rangers or seals or, or EOD. There's there's a whole subset of we, we we talk about seals, but there's a whole group of people that are mm-hmm. just EOD guys right. that uh, maybe get an injury or don't quite make it through SEAL training, but they're still used for uh, badass stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, mid-level management, maybe. You know, mm-hmm. you got your fucking top guys that are SEAL Team 6 and you know, right. anti-terrorist shit. But yeah, I mean, if you want to be hardcore, yeah, you join the Army, you go to jump school. Yeah, there, there's still guys that it's like, all right, we're going to send you out of the bush for two weeks and yeah. uh, come back if you can. You know? But there is Marine recon. They yeah. do. Everybody has their... And well, there's fucking Air Force recon, too. No, but, those guys are pretty badass. The, I bet they are, the, dude. Uh, oh, what... Um, it's the the guys that go in. It's the the, the recon guys. I, I'm trying to remember the name of the the uh, the position. I have a um, boyfriend that was a helicopter pilot. He was Green Feet. Uh, the Green Feet guys are the guys that go in and pick up pilots. Yeah. When a pilot gets shot down, they don't call the seals. They go get their own fucking pilots. Mm-hmm. So they go in under fire and and in the air force and they pick up their own pilots that that go down. And and those guys are some badasses too. So yeah, there's there's levels of badassery within Air Force Special Reconnaissance. I'll be damned. Yeah. yeah, I mean you need a no, ninja I, when when you want to fire a my, smart bomb, the smart bomb doesn't know where to go unless there's a ninja on the ground pointing a laser pointer at it. Mm-hmm. And then you know the 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 ordnance comes down and then it acquires that beam and then that ninja can change the the target as mm-hmm. he sees fit as it's coming in. It's, it's it just flies along that path. Right. So, uh, yeah, you got to have a dude that's willing to sit in the boonies for a week or two uh, in his own shit if he needs to and uh, just waiting for that call, you know, hey, we need a target. Okay, right. okay. I got you one. Yep. Yeah, so these guys do that. So, yeah, no, um, Natalie's old, uh, she worked for a guy that uh, was uh, Air Force Special Forces. He okay. was pretty bad. He's a pretty bad dude. Yeah, I, you got to go to infantry school. A lot of people yep. go to Army jump school that aren't in the Army. Mm-hmm. Um, I've I've always heard of a Delta Force is a oh he was para, yeah para rescue that's okay. what he was yeah yeah para rescue mm-hmm. is is the the green the guys yeah that's the guys are going after the after the pilots that's yeah what my yeah. my boyfriend flew for yeah mm-hmm. uh, um, yeah those guys are amazing when you see a green foot two green feet a sticker on the back of a, a vehicle mm-hmm. just know that yeah you're dealing with a fucking badass right because those guys go in um, the the pilot is unarmed their their right. helicopter has no yeah, there's a guy there's in the no door. Gun, yeah. There's a door gun. Door gun, but yeah, there's. But no, he ain't. He ain't got shit. Yeah, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's not like he's flying skills. around an Apache or something where he's yeah. you know he's blowing shit up left and right. Yeah, this dude is awesome. He's, he's a Mormon, but they, he, they, have, they have enough of a door gun to get the guy out the helicopter, and that's yeah. about it. He explained to me that uh, he doesn't exactly know how helicopters work. <laughs> And uh, okay. they had a phrase in... Um, in he, he's a helicopter pilot? Yes. And he doesn't know how helicopters work? Yes. And there is wow. a phrase for when, you know, you say, how does this work? It's mm-hmm. called PFM. Okay. Pure fucking magic. magic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got it. I, never... I, know, I know FM. <laughs> I, I've heard it uh, MFM, but, yeah. you know, motherfucking magic. <laughs> I, I thought it was great that a helicopter pilot wasn't quite... <laughs> how, how did he... How do you get through flight school? And not how to, I mean, there's aeronautics. You know, I mean, you yeah. learn how to do something. like It's like electricity I mean, I, with me. I, I know how a helicopter works. I've never flown one. I've, fl- I've flown an airplane a number of times, but I've never flown a helicopter. No, I've used, the same, how it works. I've used the same phrase. I'm an electrician, and I, I know basically enough to not get myself killed, but sometimes I don't understand exactly 
how some of these things work, and mm-hmm. they just look pure fucking magic. Turn yep, it off, yep, turn yep, it back boom. on, it works. Yep, Bye. You I'm done. That's uh, you know, I'm good to go. I, I, IT guy, half half my job. There you go. Turn, <laughs> turn it off, turn it back on. Yeah, You're working now. Okay, pure fucking cool. magic. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to explain it to you, but then you know, I have to kill you. Uh, that's that's uh, that's our time. Yeah. K. Uh, that's that's uh, yeah. yeah. K. Folks. Yep. Yep. I mean, uh, I, I think it's I think it's butkus, but uh, we, we, gotta, we gotta we gotta bring this thing to an end. <laughs> oh man, I fucking uh, hey uh, everybody, go go to Nevada Conservative Forum on uh, iTunes and yep. look up that podcast. Go, if go. you're really wonky and into this shit, yeah, yeah, then by all means, listen listen to his stuff. And, yeah, and if Sherman does something good, make sure and tell him. And if Sherman does bullshit again, tell him that too. Tell him, just tell him you're a big fan. And and if you yeah. think we're doing bullshit, just know that we already know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was already thinking, like, am I wrong uh, for calling him out on this? And then, I don't know. I think people are happy within the party that I'm just not targeting them. Mike, Mike Colian. Shout out to mm-hmm. Mike Colian. He, he oh. told Sherman that I'm, I'm trouble. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we are trouble. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got and, lumped in with you. And we hate Republicans. We hate that, Republicans. That yeah. fucking happens. Yeah, a lot right, of people yeah. get lumped in with me. I don't know. Yeah. But for for a guy that hates Republicans, it's weird that I spent a ton of money, went to Cleveland, uh, helped nominate Donald Trump. That's you know, what I try to think about. You know? Like when I was like, uh, that's really weird that for a guy that hates Republicans, I would do that. Yeah. I mean, I hate so. on Republicans because I know what Democrats are, mm-hmm. and um, it's just like yelling at a five year old for being a five year old, but. My 15-year-old, I expect better. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I fucking I, yeah. I give more shit to my 15-year-old because I love him more. They, 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 <laughs> you know, That's not they, true. Yeah. Uh, it's just I, I know what Democrats are. Mm-hmm. I, I, as much as I love Tulsi and would love to, to service her in any way that she would need me to do, I know that in the end she'd be uh, terrible policy-wise. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I am no fan of, of we, her we'd have, we'd have a good foreign policy, and that would be the end of it. That Yeah. So... Yep. Yeah, not a not a Democrat. So, not going to accuse anybody else of yep. being Democrats, even no, no, if they run no, a Democrats campaign for assembly. We don't do that here. I don't think no. we've ever. I don't think I've ever done that. I've never called somebody a Democrat. It's it's base. It's yeah. it's really it's weak. A, it, it's it, it's just not even a thoughtful thoughtful insult. No, really. I mean if somebody quits the Republic or Democratic Party and then becomes a Republican, it's just like it, you're, you're a Republican now. Congratulations. Fucking, yeah, that's, we're the party mm-hmm. of inclusion, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah, big big tent people, big tent. Maybe we brought in Katie Duncan, and she's going to run an eighty six. I got to do more research on that. I don't yeah. know, but yeah, the Katie Duncan that I know right now is is a Democrat, and mm. Sherman Sherman's if, if he's working campaign. her campaign. I hope okay. it's not a Democrat campaign. Yeah, me that too. would look bad. Yeah, that would. Oh, uh, is him <coughs> having a consulting firm a, a, a conflict no, in the he, bylaws? He's okay. allowed. He's allowed to do it now. He just has to disclose it, and he can't vote on anything that okay. uh, pertains to her race or Good. That would benefit benefit that race. I was concerned about that. Yeah. Uh, that, that was, that was like the, uh, I, I did that. I, that was like the, uh, the compromise that we, Oh, came that's right. With, with the, yeah. uh, Mark Riggins thing. Yep. yep. Right on. So, okay, cool. All right. Well, I think that's about it. All right. Who we, who we rooting for in the, the world series? Uh, we don't have a horse in the race, so don't well, really care. Your wife's name is Nat. So yeah. So, oh, so I got to go to the nationals. Go with the Nats. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My, my buddy that that's over, uh, Hanging out with Nat actually uh, at, at the bar where we hang out. He's he's rooting for the Nationals, but also doesn't really care. So, cool. Yeah. All right. I, thanks I, for. Uh, yeah, I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping the the last couple innings are good. So it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. You can go catch the ass yeah. end of it. Um, so, hit me up on at Juggalo Patriot or Juggalo Patriot dot com. Yep. At at Rob Tyree one and or you can uh, just hit us up at PAA Podcast or paapodcast.com. dot com. Yep. Had to get the inflection right there. Right. <laughs> All, right. All right. Take it easy, Dave's. See you in a week or two. Send me a link to that song though, so I can. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. You mean? Uh...